Australia is well known amongst people who would call themselves Australians in the morning for morning shows. Did you get that? I don't know. Regardless, morning shows are what I'm reviewing today. <laughs> it's Halloween, so I thought I'd, you know, get a little bit festive with me outfit that it was not designed for 12 year old girls. I enlisted the help of an Austrian friend. That's right, an Austrian, not an Australian, an Austrian this time. Why? I don't know. I'm just feeling a bit Austy today. We decided to together review a couple of clips that I hastily prepared about Australian morning shows. I don't actually know what's going on right now because I'm currently yes. overheating because I forgot that it's not winter time and I'm wearing a hoodie and drinking hot tea. I'm gonna die. I think the problem is that there weren't enough bruh sound effects and yeah. far sound. <laughs> wasn't enough air horns. <laughs> there wasn't enough sumo humor. We started off with Sunrise. This is BBC World News. I'm Jonathan Charles, kept hidden for almost two decades and forced to bear children. <laughs> sunrise, everybody. Sunrise is the cream of the crop. Top of the top of the morning morning show. Every other version is either a cheap copy or the lesser competitor of this 100% Australian TV show. Their best years were during my early adolescence from 2013 to 2016. Almost exclusively because of this rap video, known as The Rap Video. What's wrong with the world, mama? People live like they ain't broke I think the whole world's addicted to the drugs. <laughs> you bring your trauma. Overseas, yeah, we try to stop Oh my god, I love this. You've got terrorists living in a few What the fuck? Your own race. Well, then you only leave space to discriminate. And when you hate, well, then you're both getting out of right. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas is struggling to read. Yeah. <laughs> it's a news readers. Why are they struggling? It's hard, it's hard to control the flow. Bruh, I've made better raps. I'm not a rapper. It holds itself in high regard, being one of the most insane things that happened in that part of the CBD, up there with the Lint Cafe incident, and that time Skoma shot himself at Macca's. Which happened at a different place, but was so incredibly notable that I thought I'd also mention it here. Look. I'm something of a rapper myself. I dropped this five beats and four. Step one, your body sees that one of your knees has a scarcity. Anger falls a spread for But I don't think even the king of Bunno Heshdog can compete with Koshi from Sunrise's clearly superior sense of rhythm. I don't know. Where's the truth, y'all? Come on. I don't know. I don't know. And this guy. I don't even remember who this man is. Looks like Grant Daniel was a host on ABC3 midway through its existence. But come on, look at his look. He looks like he could make Eminem sweat Skittle. Never gonna be this part of another. Never gonna grab this town. Never gonna be this surprise. I'm saying stuff whatever. Yo, whatever. It's still going, why? Whatever. You proved your point, you suck at singing. Yeah, Kevin 07! Uh, Joe Hockey. Kevin 07! Ah, uh, Joe Hockey. It's even fu funnier when you don't know who those people are. <laughs> yeah, you don't know any of them. Who are these people in your head? Who's this? On the right, it looks kind of like uh, alternate reality uh, Scott Morrison. Uh, on the <laughs> left, it looks like he. He might be a, a Burger King, or a, I'm sorry, Hungry Jack spokesman. All in all, I rate Sunrise 10 out of 10. Best morning show in existence, the pure baseline for success. I will one day hope and strive to one day be as remotely good as Sunrise. I'm about 6% there, which is why I'm so popular. Just like The Rock. The Today Show can suck it. There are only so many Danos Direct vacuum cleaners you can place around your studio to make you seem like you suck less by comparison. I hope you never wake up with today or today at all today, not when Sunrise exists. I will <laughs> always watch Sunrise for now, I guess. I don't know. I, w I wanna know That's what the right. is. That's right! This Raid Shadows Legend video was sponsored by Sunrise. <laughs> It's not Raid Shadow Legends, so it makes you look more like a human being and less like someone who touches grass than Raid Shadow Legends. Try it out now. <laughs> Toasted TV. Look, I'm a Zoomer. I do, I do not know what this Toasted TV is. Let's watch this kids show. This one's a kids show that they wanted me to... That lo looks so 2003. It is, it's, it is 2003. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I grew up with a brief memory of Roller Coaster, and then the rest is ABC3 and Andy Griffith's bum fighting novels, though I was slightly too old for the glorious combination of both. Which reminds me, like this video if you want me to reread Andy Griffith's bum fighting novels and review them. I do think that they are a fantastic work of art, really up there with Shadow on the Hill and Manufacturing Consent. Don't know why those were the first two things I came up with. Shadow on the Hill is a <laughs> very obscure book about Newman unions in the 70s that pretty much only exists in the Newman Library and no one reads it. Um, <laughs> and then Manufacturing Consent is like some American novel about media manipulation. Like, what? Why did I pick those? The mind is a mystery. Caitlin, hello Caitlin. We have Matt. <laughs> They're not saying anything. <laughs> wait, the, the, wait, go back, go back, go back. Kid on the right guy wanted to say something and actually responded and they cut him out. Because, look, look, look. Wait. No. See? <laughs> no, the, the, my computer like died when it went to him. Okay, what do you, what do you think? Australian 90s kids TV versus Austrian kids TV. What's the comparison? Uh, it's... A lot more energetic. I mean, it is similar, but it's a lot more energetic and weird. But it's just more, more armpit, armpit touching. Look at the right side there. It's a lot more armpit touching. <laughs> I then unilaterally decided to rate Good Game SP as well. I <laughs> wanted to rate morning shows. <laughs> no! <laughs> Had enough of morning shows. <laughs> it's a good game, small point now. Okay, okay. Th th this is the first episode of Good Game, Small Point. You ready? Yeah. This looks so late 90s. It's not. It's 2013. 2014. Oh my god. Oh, 2013. <laughs> And welcome to Good Games Spawn Point, the show for gamers by gamers. I'm Barjo. And I'm Hex. And he looks like he's so drugged. Darren. <laughs> Hex, did that robot just introduce itself? Affirmative. Darren. It stands for Data this porn, Analyzing this... Robot for the Ruthless Extermination. I have to say that it's the most I intricate porn intro <laughs> FX. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, hello, Darren. And welcome to our very <laughs> first edition of Good Game SP on ABC3. That's right. And coming up, we get your verdict on the Pokemon series. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I hope this, this gets together in some... Somehow together all right. I'll be in Newman for a full month, so no videos in a while. But... I am working on some high quality, at least research and script wise content, which means the entertainment will be roughly the same and the research would still be at the same level you'd expect a regular year 9 essay to be at. I'm not exactly well known for my hardcore analysis. I have way too low of an attention span for that. But I'll do my best for you. Good night and ciao. Let me tell you a little lesson in morning shows.